Hello and welcome back to my Subnautica Let's Play series. We're picking up quite a bit from where we left off in the last episode. The reason for that is I did record episode 2, but then I decided to re-record it because I was fiddling around, I was not really, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I decided to scrap it. Um, though there is at least one, two, I think two scenes I want to show from it because quite a bit st of stuff has happened. Um, one of them is the Aurora exploded, so if I remember to do it, which I should when editing this, you will see that clip in about 3, 2, 1. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And that's how this looks like this now. And also there was a pretty cool... Oh, that's cool. I never realized those were there. <laughs> also, this planet did a very cool eclipse here. And I'll probably show that clip now as well. But other than that, um, I have just been doing a bunch of resource collecting and also crafting. Um, so if we take a look here, I made a high capacity O2 tank, which is basically allowing me to breathe underwater for a lot longer. So first I had the standard, standard tank and then I made the high capacity tank because it's way better. Then I made... I made the radiation suit because I want to get close to the aurora, but if I don't have it on and I get close to the aurora, like over there say, then radiation starts happening and that's bad for me. So we don't want that, so I made the radiation suit. Then I made the flashlight because I figured out how to make the batteries. Uh, the batteries, acid, acid mushrooms that just beneath us, like you just gotta go pick them, that's really it. Um, and I made a scanner, and I also made the repair tool, so we can start repairing stuff. And yeah, this thing right here. Cave sulfur, I figured out how to get that, and yeah, that's pretty much that. Also, I got a bunch of blueprints and stuff, and I figured out how to actually make water and cook food. Basically, you just grab a fish and cook it in the fabricator. <laughs> And the water, you'd catch a specific type of fish, which we will probably be doing more of today because we are going on a journey. Now, let me just see here. I also made a bunch of these, a bunch of these um, storage tanks to store all my resources in. And as you can see, I've done quite a bit of collecting. Also, those, I use those for, I don't remember what I use those for, to be honest. Ah oh, yes, the bleach, because you can actually turn bleach into water, so that's cool. That was one of the ways that I made water to begin with. Um, but yeah, the cave sulfur is... let me see if I can find some. Well, if you remember, one of the ways that I died in the first episode was one of those red puff of fish that explodes thingies. They, um... oh boy. They, um... Their housing or their shell that they come out of, that actually has that sulfur in it, so that, that was easy. Oh, and I also made this thing, 
which basically allows me to swim faster, which we are going to be needing. And also give me you. Hold on. Yeah. Give. Give. You turn these into water. And I'm going to need a lot of water and such when going on this journey. But, um, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. But today we are going to be going on a little journey. Because I want to start building a base. Because as you can probably see... My storage is full, and you just saw my small storage boxes down there, and um, I, I need a base, so also I have to shout out that Lance is my friend for helping me out with this, because I had no idea what I was doing, so she helped out quite a bit with me getting this far into the game. I also do have the repair tool, so I think... Okay, so I need to go somewhere. I have been told that I need to go to an island, I know the direction, there's something out there that we need to get the base started, or at least started easier, so... We're gonna be doing that, but I do have the repair tool. And I'm thinking we can... Well, repair some of this stuff, because it's turning nighttime, I wanna go in the daytime, so let's try and repair... This... Secondary system, or whatever it's called, and let's see what happens. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. That's cool. Anything to see on the outside? Nope, still spoken. <laughs> still spoken. Okay. Uh, let's see. Outgoing radio communication offline. To be honest, I think... Should we do that now? You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it and see what happens. There we go. Radio is online. Broadcasting. Cool. It can do that while we are on a little journey here. Um, also, I have a couple of batteries here, mainly because I can change. I can change the battery in this thing, which I'm gonna need because the current battery, battery is at twelve percent. Um, yeah. So, question is if we should just go. I need. To, I know we need to go in, I believe, that direction. Towards a cloud out there. That's always there. And I believe that cloud is always there as well. So, I know there's an island that way and that way. Wait, that way. But, um, I kind of want to wait for daytime. So, I think we'll do that. And we'll be back on our journey here. Actually, while we wait... For daytime again, the sun is just about to come up. I did find some lost um, logs and data pads here, so we're gonna play those to see what happens here. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. Okay, so we're not the only survivors, it would seem. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down! I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare! Stop waving it around like that, you'll catch the fuel line! Okay, maybe we are the only survivors. <laughs> Alright, I think we are ready to embark on our journey. So, that is the cloud we're going to. A bit of water, and let's go. Let's save the power, don't need that. So, I'm basically just gonna go this way until I find an island. Or so I see something else that's interesting. Or I. Okay, nope. I'm gonna keep going till either something interesting happens or I find the island. I just know that there should be one in this direction, so we'll have to see. Either I'll be back when something interesting happens, or I die, or something else. So stay tuned. 
Okay, I'm gonna just quickly shift battery here, just in case, and the cloud is significantly closer. That's the cloud. The cloud's here. Is that a force field? That's definitely not a normal cloud. There's the aurora, there's the life part, about a one kilometer away. And that's not a cloud, that seems like a cloaking, a cloaking field. Oh, I knew it, cloaking field technology thing. Ooh, okay. I believe we have found the island. Now I just gotta get up on it. And hopefully there's no land creatures that's dangerous. Now I was also told to go under the island. I'm not sure I want to though. Whoa. What are those? Can I scan this thing? Ancient floater. Hmm. How far down should I go? Oh wow, that's very deep. I'm not going down there. Yeah, that's extremely deep. I'll get lost if I get down there. <laughs> but wow, that's cool though. A very strange island. I have never seen an island like this, but it's very, very cool. Okay. Well, here's the surface. Knife out. Be prepared, because I don't know what will be here. So we do have plants. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Well, that's just exactly what I didn't want to hear. On the island's surface. Well, okay, let's go. If you're here to harm me, I will not hesitate to harm you back. Mining plant. I want to scan some of this stuff. I was told that there's a blueprint that I require. And I think I see it. This place is cool though. I want to be a bit careful though. Energy signatures usually indicate... Well, living things. But yeah, I believe that is the thing right there. I was looking for some human made or intelligently made structures. <laughs> oh, there's multiple structures actually. Okay, cool. Hold on. That sounded like a tree falling or rocks. Okay, guess it was just rocks. Yeah, or the island. Oh, oh, okay. You know what, let's start with the smaller structure first. Okay, that's... You know, usually games have a thing protecting ancient structures. Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. Seems like this is mainly lookout posts, and then the main base was down there, whatever was here. Okay, here goes. Put your hands up if you're in here. Okay. I should probably check this place out first before I scan. Let's see. Both get door. That's cool. Okay, let's go in. Huh? Okay, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think any of the... Oh, a bad PDA. Integrating oh, new PDA data. Let's see, habitat installations. Oh, that's not it. I guess it wasn't a voice log, I guess it was just information. Okay. Well, we have a supply crate. I think all of this is just rust. Ooh, I guess we can grow plants inside. New blueprint acquired. Cool, we're getting some pretty good blueprints here. 
plants and fruits. I guess those are edible. Maybe? Can you eat them? That's my question. Oh yeah, you can. Not bad. I'll take a few. Since I'm a bit hungry. And wash that down with some water. Cool. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? It's fine. Okay, let's go. Uh, I was. I thought I could maybe get some seeds or something. Ooh, water. That's good. Okay. Well, I guess it's on to the other outpost or the base. You know what? Let's go to the base and then the outpost. Okay, when I approach... Oh. L. Those don't look nice. I got a knife. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, let's not do that. Let's... Take a nice and easy here. Those do not look nice whatsoever. I will defend myself if I have to. I would like to get just one of them up here so I can see what they do. Aha! They're so small, they can't possibly kill me. But since they're here... Oh, nice. Okay, come at me. You creatures. Yeah, you there. Come at me. I think that one sees me. Come at me. Ow! Okay, okay, okay. Ow. They didn't do much damage though, so that's good. Okay. Come at me. Thingy. That's good. Okay. That's like green stuff. Okay. Infection. Yeah, I did. I did think they looked a little bit weird. Okay, how much damage does that do? Not much at all. Get that water down. Get myself healed. Okay. Maple melon. How can I get seeds? That's that's what I want to know. I don't remember how to get seeds, but you know what? It's fine. Chinese potato. Alright. Oh, it's turning night time. I don't like this. Let's go. Okay. Abandoned PD PDA. Okay, we got... We got some voice logs here. Oh, here it is. Aha. Oh, we do. We did get a voice log. Okay, let's listen. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Okay. I want to listen to the other one, but first I need to see what this is. I see something on the floor. Level tablet. I can't... can I scan it? Okay, I'll take it. Looks alien, actually. Okay, I'm out of here. Don't know what happens in the night time. Oh wait, there's more. There's actually more here. Let's see. Let's take a closer look here. Oh, a ladder down, I don't like down going ladders. Oh, okay, that was quick. Oh. Oh, okay. Open door. Abandon PDA. Integrating we can PDA listen to all data. these later. Uh, battery, that's nice. Okay. Okay, now we can leave. But I guess those crabs were the, um, or land crabs or whatever they're called, were the ones the robot was 
telling us about. There's something to be scanned. Don't know what it is. Oh, that. <laughs> Blueprint acquired. Wait, something else? Chair? I'll take it. Blueprint and acquired. another abandoned PDA. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. Can I close the door? No. Okay, you know what? Let's listen to some of these real quick here. Before we end the video. Okay, so we got this one. Wait, alien data. Okay, you can read that. I'll read that on my own. So we saw this one. Okay, so these are all different persons. Let's hear this one. There's a one, two, and then apparently a third somewhere. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're going to starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, Father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Okay, and the storm? Son. I said, wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bard, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Okay, and then we got this one. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside, in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't going to find out by staying here. Okay, and we got one last thing here. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart. And Meda, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Meda salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Meda. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive, as comfortably as possible, until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. 
Okay, very, very interesting stuff. I'll go through all of that on my own. We got some new blueprints, which is pretty cool. We got the purple tablet. Ta 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 <laughs> Can't speak for a moment. And, um, yeah, seven more it says. Let's go down. Oh, there we go. Group it, bulk it. So I guess we will be able to start building a base. Let me see here. Let me just... Scanner room, multi-purpose room. Oh, titanium. A basic room in which to install a range of different components. So I guess we'll start with that. I guess I'll have to do some research on actually building a base in this game. But, um, yeah, so far so good, I'd say. We're approximately 1.5 kilometers away from the pod. Actually, I think I can even see it back there. Yeah. My question is, first off, why couldn't I see the island before? And second, what's behind the island? And I don't want to fall, that's what I know. Anyways, I think I'm gonna call it quits here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and enable those notifications. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.